Yo, I just want to break down this Spotify and DistroKid situation that I'm going through right now. It's probably going to be boring for people who don't make music or whatever. But if you're an independent artist like I am, this might be something you want to listen to. So I log into DistroKid and I immediately get a notice from Spotify that says these two songs have artificial plays. It shows that they have 90% artificial plays or something, you know, whatever it is. They say this could be due to the fact of you paying for promotion. A lot of, a lot of these promoting companies, they're not real, they're not this, they're whatever. No shit. I never have in my fucking life paid anybody to give me any kind of streams or anything. I always find that shit corny anyway, and it's fake. I want to know that whatever I'm building up, my fan base, I want to see that that's organic. I don't care if it's a hundred streams. I don't have to look cool to get a million streams. So I'm not paying a motherfucker for anything. All of those, you know, messages that you get in your DMs that say, uh, hey, you want to grow your audience? You want to do this? You wanna, and all these little ads that you get, they're all bullshit. I know that. Most people in my position know that. It's all a game. I get it. They got to look cool. Fake it till you make it type of thing. Whatever it is. I never have done this in my life, and I have a actually really strong stance on not doing it because I'm very much into growing organically. Pause. I see this with uh, Spotify. I see the two songs, and I go, okay, well, this, you know, must be a mistake, whatever. And I go to click next. There's only one option is to continue. The, the next slide or, or whatever has... This whole entire breakdown about how fake promotion can do this and fake promotion is this and it's not real and you could get flagged for this and that. And then the bottom, the only options I have is to click two boxes. One that says agree to never use promotional things again and agree that you'll actually follow Spotify guidelines. Like, But I didn't do either of these things. So I'm not going to agree to this and just go on. So I immediately start, you know, okay, how can I contact Spotify because there's an issue here. I contact Spotify. I say, look, I just got this notice. It's bullshit, pretty much. I've never paid for anything. I've never paid for any of this promotion. It's This isn't real, so, like, let's get this taken care of. Because now, one of those songs is part of an album, and they took down the whole entire album. So not only they took down another single that I had, but they also took down a whole album because of this. So they're like, oh, let me see a link to your music, link to this, let me uh, get, get this information. Get bottom line is, literally, the bottom line is they say, we don't got any information for you on this. We can't help you, but... uh. Hit us up for anything else that you might need. And they also tell me to hit up DistroKid. Of course, because they got to push it off to somebody else. So they do that, shut the chat, bam. So I'm just like, what the fuck is that? I, I got nothing out of that. So now I contact DistroKid and I say, hey, there's this issue, blah, blah, blah. Like, what is going on? This makes no sense. Like, what is happening? So I just got an email from DistroKid and they give me the same thing. It's, you know, the first couple things are... Don't use these promotional services. Don't use this. Don't use this. Don't use this. I haven't. I did not use these promotional services. I go and I start reading more into it. This could be this reason because you bought promotion. But, but it could also mean that there was somebody that added it to a playlist that might be giving out promotional views. So now I sit back and I go, wait. So some random person that added this to a playlist... I'm getting flagged because of that, but I have no control over who's adding my music to a playlist. So now you're telling me the one issue it could be is that there might be a playlist that was added to that was fake and they're, you know, doing fake streams on this playlist or something. I have nothing to do with this. So now where do I come in to say, hey, um, excuse me, but I didn't do this. So what the fuck? How do I fix this? No, they say, well, you can contact Spotify, you can let them know you want to be removed from these playlists, or you can take down the album completely, re-upload it, but we just don't know if those same streams that you had and, and all of that is going to carry over. But you know how we can make sure that it does? Is if you sign up for so-and-so plus, for Spotify plus, or whatever the fuck it is, then we can guarantee you that we'll, all of those stats will carry on. Look, I'm not making sh I'm not making money at all from streaming. I don't get that. I, don't, I, I might make $10 a month, okay? You, gotta, you have to stream a lot, a lot, a lot to make some money. You know, people know you get 0 .001 cent of a stream or whatever, whatever the fuck. I don't care about the money. The fact that people who want to listen to my music can't just search 
my shit and just find my music and my whole one of my whole albums is taken down because of this shit there's so many artists out there that buy those promotions that do all this shit it's so easy to see it's clear to see all of their you know you see all of a sudden this this artist has millions of followers and all this kind of shit and you know you look down to their comment section and it's it's all robots they're all fucking bots that are just commenting an emoji or saying this is so great or I, my favorite is when they say i love this picture and it's a video or, all of that is very easy to see what's fake and what's not you think i'm out here fucking faking less than a thousand streams but when i'm gathering from this they can immediately just flag your music say that eh, it looks like you got fake promotions it looks like you got fake plays so we're gonna take it down and so now that means like all right so let's say i did get lucky let's say one of my songs go viral let's so say it's a big tiktok thing and and it's all great they could just say well nah those uh those streams like doesn't look real so we're just gonna take it off and what can i do i'm nobody i'm i'm a little independent artist making music in my room like what the fuck can i do here with so much of this streaming shit and all these things and AIs and whatever the fuck. It's like the only thing you could do is you just you deal with it. And it's too big of a beast. It's not like I, I can sit here and complain about all the fake stuff and this, 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 whatever. You have to just work with it. It's just it's what it is. The game's constantly changing. You go with it. But this is the first time that I'm actually like kind of worried. All I want is my music to be available to people. That's all I'm trying to do. And I want it available on any platform that they're streaming on. Because I don't want them to have to go to a, another one because this project isn't on this one. So I try very easily to just make it accessible to everybody. So I don't know what to do here. Um, I'm just really pissed off, honestly. Uh, and I just don't know where I see this going. And if you're an artist, an independent artist like I am... This should probably worry you because I just don't, I don't know where to go from here. I'll keep you guys updated if there is an update, but as of right now, I, I don't know. It looks like I just got to bite the bullet.